Today, I'm revealing one of my absolute favorite kinds of tech, a wearable display. I've been playing around with wearable displays for years. When Google Glass came out, I was a tester. I wore my almost everywhere. Such a dork, I know. The glass never really did even have a what I wanted, so I went on to build my own low-cost head-mounted display for wasting my little drones. People say, oh, but they look weird. Like, I care about looking weird. If they rather walk around like a zombie staring down at their phone, they can live in that future. I want to walk around head up with a computer on my wrist and a display on my face. That's the cyberpunk future I want to live in. Today, I have the music plate. Let's unbox it and see how much closer to that future it brings us. So, safety, warranty, okay, it's not instruction. There's a quick guide in here, tells you how to turn it on and how to use it. So here is the blade, not bad looking, looks like thick glasses. USB cable, more cable. Earphones and more cable. Instructions for the earphones. Okay, let's turn it on and try it. Okay, now I see the instructions. Swipe forward on the touchpad to continue. Okay. Swipe down to read. Tap when done. Okay, now I see home camera. I will try the camera first. Capture. Okay, there are pictures in here. And then we we'll call video. Okay, stop. So I have to download an app, I think. Okay, let me grab my phone. Okay, it's really hard to get a, get a handle of this, but I think you can, from here, you can see what the control looks like. I really wish I could show you what I see. It's really clear to my eyes, but it's difficult to shoot with this camera. Uh, I've downloaded the app, so let's go uh, go inside and try to link in. Star setup. Agree. Okay, I have successful link it. I can personalize uh, my blade and give it a name, blade, blade one. Next. Personalize notifications. The blade can display notification from your smartphone app. Okay. Congratulations, you've successfully set up your blade. All right, finish. Now, Let's go to, oh, Wi-Fi acquire, transferring media requires an active Wi-Fi connection. Okay, I will turn it on on my blink. 
but cool. So I turn on the Wi-Fi on my glasses, on, it automatically sync to my phone. When I use Google Glass, I have to go to my drive and then down, it's sync to it, but I have to go to my drive and stuff, but this automatically goes to my phone. Oh yes. Awesome. And the picture I took. Okay, it is such a shame that you can't see from my point of view and see how cool this glasses is. So I'm going to take it out and maybe let people try it and see their reaction. Maybe that will give you more of a feel about what it can do. So I'm going to charge it and see you later. My friend is a manager of this bakery that just opened. Chinese like a bit of spectacle at this event. So he asked me to drop by. <laughs> Those are professional foreigners. You may have heard about this sort of work. Got an event in China, want to look successful and professional? Hire a bunch of foreigners to stand around as decoration. The more you have, the more successful your company looks. For the most part, it's harmless, particularly at events like this. But sometimes, like in the tech and maker community, sometimes local Chinese aren't given a chance to speak because organizers think the event will look more impressive and professional with mostly foreign speakers. This isn't the foreigners fault, it's a Chinese issue. The solution is to start your own YouTube channel and get 10 times the number of viewers in a single month as any of their crappy conference ever again. <laughs> what? I'm a daughter of the 10 tigers. I play to win. Anyway. Then off to meet more friends at an international food festival. Hi! <laughs> Talking about your YouTube channel, oh, and there was the thing you did uh, at King's Bar with the robot. Where's the Where's the camera? Right here on the side. Wow. This is the display. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. <laughs> That's good try, man. Let's all try it around. One by one. No, I don't. You love this. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. I love them. Everyone could try them. Love them. But the big part of that was people wanted to do things that the hardware could do easily, but there's no app for it yet. I think Vuesix will have to create more apps in order to get enough users that it makes sense for developers to start adding their own apps. In the meantime, the most important part, smooth integration with the Android notification system works great. You don't have to look down every time your phone beeps an alert. Other features like being able to live stream from the glasses camera and at the same time read chat messages from people watching the stream. This would be super useful and the content creators who need it just aren't going to code it themselves. It's also kind of too important to live in the hands of third party developers who might cut corners. Oh, check this out. Designed and assembled in Rochester, New York. That's so awesome. Chinese would love that. American products are incredibly popular here. The Views Display costs about a thousand dollars and are not just useful but also an American brand. This would be a huge hit as a status symbol here. But the black isn't going to cut it. Try matte champagne gold. Gold isn't my thing, but huge with Tu Hao. Tu Hao is our word for tacky rich people. Personally, I would love them in white. It's a sure bet for the young fashionable cloud. We're always having half a conversation in the digital world and half in the real world. 
and this hardware helps us slide back and forth between them smoothly. I'm sorry I couldn't find a way to give you a better view of how the display looks. It's easy to see, just very hard to video. The blade is basically a head-mounted display, not really an augmented reality device, at least not yet. I'm fine with this. I don't need AR for just walking around. In my mind, there is an ideal user for the blade. Caregivers, nurses are already so overworked. Imagine they can do their rounds and look in on patients as needed, get real-time metrics like respiration and heart rate, but also get emergency notifications from the patients in other, in other rooms and scroll through their status reports from anywhere in the hospital. Or if you're a parent and you want to work in the sewing room or fix the car, with an IP camera, you can still keep an eye on the baby in the crib or your kids playing in front of the house while you work. That would be the one super simple killer app that would open the blade up to all sorts of uses on VIF compatibility. The ability to view and scroll through real-time video feed from IP cameras. For anyone in a security job like at a casino, they can walk around and at the same time monitor video. Maybe even pan, tilt, and zoom using the touchpad on the side. There are so many hacks and cool ideas that open up once the glasses are compatible with the IP camera standard. So if I were to tell V6 one thing, it would be release an app that allows this. No one wants to plug a video cable in, but there are wireless video standards which are perfectly suited to this. Mirror cast display mirroring might be tough to do with the limited resolution of the glasses, but it still would open up a lot of cool features like being able to watch the video feed from a drone. Honestly, I've got so many ideas for this, I could sit here and talk all day. But talk is cheap. I want to see what I can build incorporating this. But you are going to have to wait until next time to see that. Today, I just wanted to give you a straightforward review of the wheels display as it comes. I love it and it performs as it advertised but the appearance may not be to everyone's taste. What do you think? Would you wear them and where? Let me know in the comment section. Oh, this isn't a sponsored review or anything, but I would like to thank Vuses for sending me a review unit. Like most Chinese, I'm a huge fan of American products and it's a real trick to review and use such a high quality one. That's it for today. Thanks to everyone who supports my channel, no matter how you do it. I wish I could answer every message on every platform, but I do read them all and appreciate them very much. I'm sorry if I don't have time to reply and thank you for understanding. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.